Hey everyone, Jessica here. So I'm going to show you today what is in my kindergartner's bin. Um, we are a homeschool family. I have three kids. I will be doing three separate videos. Today is going to be for my kindergartner. Um, and then next week will probably be for my first grader going into the second grade. And then probably next month I'm going to have for my older son who is in high school going into the 10th grade. So we have lots of stuff in here that I want to show you. Do me a favor before you get into the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also share this video with anybody that might be interested in um, kindergarten homeschooling. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first thing first is I have this bin that I bought from Michaels. It is just Latchmate. Um, I bought it, they're actually on sale right now as current as this video. Um, they are $9 and I believe 98 cents. Um, but it's really, really cheap. I'm going to be getting another one for our science, but it's going to be a bigger one. Um, but I just have three of these, and this is where they keep all of their school stuff and the curriculums. Uh, we also have the pencil case thing right here. Um, all that's in here is some color pencils, these markers. They're the Mondo Llama brand. We have two of the erasers and she has her pencil. I get the pencils from Walmart. These things right here I get from the erasers. I get from the Dollar Tree. Uh, the Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of these for a dollar and good quality. And then these right here I just picked up from the Target. From Target to the Target brand. Um, and yeah, but basically everything in here is from Target. Uh, colored pencils and the markers so that's all that we keep in here and then here is the latch mate let me move this out of the way here is the latch mate and this is again where we keep all of the school stuff so all right so in here we have my daughter's phonics cards this goes with the good and the beautiful the good and the beautiful curriculum is what we are using. So everything you see in here, mostly everything you see in here, is going to be the good and the beautiful for my kindergartner and my son going into second grade. So phonics cards, I just keep them in this baggie. When you get the cards, they suggest having three bags. One is learning, one is mastered and unlearned, and I just put them in this sandwich bag right here. So, And I label them because I have one um, set for my kindergartner and then I have another set for my almost second grader. So we just have that one set aside. And then we keep some glue. I use, um, I have some of this kind of glue, but I also have the sticks of glue, again, from Target. And then I have some scissors, which are just the regular scissors. My daughter is left-handed, um, but she can still use these to cut the cut very well. Then I also bought this little crayon box right here to keep all the crayons in. Even if I keep them in that normal packaging, my daughter will lose them. So we just have these in here, set that there. We have some stickers because she loves to put stickers when she does her schooling. We have some cotton swabs because we were actually getting ready to do a science project with that. Um, and then these right here, we bought from Target a couple years ago and they are just some um, cards that you, for them to trace and for them to write their ABCs. And then it shows like some things that start with E to give her an uh, idea that is washable. And then we just have some of these little cards, same or different, Target I got this from. Um, the numbers flash cards I got from Dollar Tree and then these I got from Target a couple years ago. This is just the alphabet cards. So that's what's inside of the top of the latch mate. And then I'm going to show you what's in here for her curriculum. Okay, so I live in Florida. Kindergarten is not required. Normally first grade is when you have to homeschool or send to school. My daughter shows a huge interest in learning and she's been wanting to do her homeschooling, so that's why we're doing it. Florida, you're not required to have your child do kindergarten, but she's showing an interest, so why not? Um, so what she has here is her handwriting, level K, 
and this is really really nice this is again good and beautiful it gives you some information about this course so course organization teaches about pencil grip holding the pencil the right way coloring and drawing and then doing handwriting as a family and then that you don't really need to focus so tracing letters and numbers writing first name so over here she they had her do her numbers and then they had her do her name which she's been doing really good with that let me actually move somewhere else because my husband's making a video so let me move somewhere else and i'll show you the rest okay sorry guys i had to move because my husband he makes videos from home and i wanted to get this video for you guys so yeah uh going back to this the handwriting she's already done a couple of these pages uh the first thing she does is trace each letter starting on the dot it has the dot up there and then it has number one and number two number three uh, and then she has the lowercase a's uppercase b's and then they allow her to do some drawing and coloring and um all of this stuff so they have draw a sun and color the lighthouse and then hold on so yeah and as, over here as you can see color the dogs that's what she did and then she was practicing tracing her b's and her c's and you would have seen this one when i was showing you a video of her doing her schoolwork. and then there's again trace each letter starting at the dot and then draw a sun and clouds then color the air balloon she just colored the air balloon she didn't really want to do the sun and clouds and with the level k or kindergarten you know i'm not going to really push too too much yes we are learning we're taking it slow um but i mean she's doing really good and i'm not really going to push it too far uh so yeah and then you know same thing down here with a crayon or colored pencil draw a line between each image without touching any of the lines and then the coloring right here connect the letters and then color the picture so she's been loving this um and it's been doing really really good and then she's learned how to spell her name so that's what you're seeing here in the space below have your parent or teacher write your first name then you trace it she didn't want to do that she was like look i will i want to write my name so i just let her write her name so this is really really cute and it's helping her a lot so this is the handwriting level k by the good and the beautiful this right here i haven't started her on the level k um language arts yet we are focusing on the level k primer as you see here this course book and again she doesn't really have i mean she knows her abcs she knows her colors she knows her numbers she knows those things um but this kind of goes a little bit more into actually teaching her how to read and put things together there is a level k primer and then there is a level k language arts i believe but we just went with this um, which was a really good choice that we made. Down here it tells you that there is some master letters, master numbers 1 through 15, learn long and short vowels, read simple words, rhyming, starting, sorting, and more. And so you open it up. And so about this, this course, when should my child start this course? What does this course set include? What does the course cover? So it just talks about all that. Now, the good and the beautiful, um, this is Christian curriculum. The lady who created the good and the beautiful, she is a Mormon. And that kind of turns a lot of people off to this curriculum. To be honest, though, they don't teach any denomination. There's no denomination uh, specific, specifically in this course. So to be honest as somebody who's non-denominational non-denominational i do not believe in denominations uh we are christian but we are not christian by religion we are christian by our relationship with the lord we believe that the word of the bible is holy and perfect there is no flaws it's word for word so that's how my family is that's what we believe um and so i like this you can also, not for kindergarten, but for first to fifth grade, you can get the language arts for free by if downloading it. If you have 
uh, printer, you can print it out. If you have the spiral bounding, you can do that, but you can try it out. Download it for free, print out, you know, maybe like a couple of lessons. And I mean, I haven't found anything bad in this curriculum as far as like, um, you know, faith based. So, but that's me. Everybody is different. Uh, so it says here, children are not expected to master any of the principles taught in this course, except for instantly recognizing all the letters and their sounds. This course is an introduction to reading and principles such as long vowels. If a child is getting frustrated with the principle, don't push it. Simply slow down or move on. All principles taught in this course are reviewed and taught in greater depth in the level K course. And again, this isn't as big as the level K course. This is just the primer. So for now, we are just using this to help her get the basics. And then we'll go into the level K probably sometime January of next year, maybe. Um, but also remember, too, that with this curriculum, you're going to your child's going to be a bit more advanced than if they were in regular school so for instance my son is doing first grade but the things that he's being taught for first grade are things that really they're taught going into the end of first grade to second grade so your child will be ahead with this curriculum so take your time just relax with it don't go too crazy and everything will be fine um, up here it tells you items needed for this we need dry 12 dried beans for this lesson one this blue right here is what you read. The black part is what you read to the child. And then you would just check it off once you are done. And then it has like the different, you know, activities. So she'd put a bean on all of the capital letters or all the lowercase letters. Um, so she really loved this one. And then for lesson one, there is how the child trace the letters starting on the purple dot and follow the numbers. So they'll start here and they'll put they'll put the line in here and then number three. And then again, the blue you would read, seeing the alphabet with the child. The Good and the Beautiful on YouTube has a video that has the ABCs to sing. My daughter, she knows the ABCs already, but it was just fun to, to put on and sing. So yeah, there's going to be things in here that you're not going to necessarily just do in the book. Things you're going to look online, things that, you know, you're going to have these those cards I showed you. For phonics so yeah this is I mean it's really really good um, and then same thing over here there is let me see how many lessons there are they have a little you completed the course the write and read so there is 34 lessons in this book um, so yeah, I mean, there's only only 34 lessons. That's not bad. And then once we're done with this, then we can move on into the level K. Or if I feel like she's doing really good and we don't need to stay in this anymore, then we'll move on to the level K. But right now, it's been so, so good. She is learning so much. And they're really easy. They don't take much time at all. Of course, you're gonna, you might get stuck on some things. But for the most part, you know, it's really going at your child's pace. And you know your child best. So those are the first two for our curriculum. And then she has this little My First Reading Book Level K Primer course. And it's just like I dig, I sit, and then I mix it, I zip it, and then you get a little bit um, deeper. Tim can run. Sam has a dog. Ooh, excuse me. So this has been really cute as well. And that goes with the level K primer. Um, we also have arts. This is really for both of the kids doing for uh, kindergarten and coming up to second grade. The creative arts and crafts projects. My children love drawing. My younger children love drawing, love coloring. Um, they are very artistic. My older son is artistic too, but he's not really much into it like my younger ones. This right here did not come spiral bound. This I had to print and I had to take it to Staples to get spiral bound. I believe you can buy it spiral bound, but mine didn't come with it. I just chose to do the PDF and then I laminated this piece of paper myself. And yeah, I just picked this up today actually. And I showed you the other day, I think yesterday in my video, um, 
about uh, showing you about this. So there is, I think there's about 18. There's not that that many, and we're not going to do it every single day. We'll probably do about two. I think it's, requ it's required, like not required, but it's suggested to do one or two a week. So we'll probably do about two each week. Um, we're not going to do it all the time. And we can always come back to this later on. So yeah, they have the table of contents. Right here is the master supply list. It tells you everything you everything that you're going to need. Miscellaneous items. It even tells you, breaks it up for lesson. So it'll tell you like lesson one is a sunflower watercolor. So it will tell you everything you'll need for that, um, for that lesson. So supply list by lesson. And right here, sunflower watercolor, items needed. Then it talks about sunflowers, goes into it. Tips and techniques with, for painting with watercolors. My kids were so excited when I told them about this. They're like, we want this. I'm like, okay. Um, and then I can just make copies because I do have the free PDF on my computer. I can just make copies of this um, and then have them do it. So this was really, really cute. I thought that this was great to have. I don't want to talk about the math yet. I want to talk about it in a little bit. This right here is our unit study. I'm not going to go into depth with this because I do have a video coming talking about how I organized it. But for the kids, for my, basically for all of them, even my high schooler, we are going to be learning about space science. So this is the K through eight science unit study. I am so excited for this. Uh, this is one of the electives, I believe. And, you know, we're going to take our time with this. We're probably going to do about two lessons a week, maybe. I'm not sure yet if I should do one lesson or two lessons. I'm leaning more towards two lessons a week because um, we also have typing and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm going to go into this its own video on how I set this up. And, um, yeah, be on the lookout for that video. It'll be coming up pretty soon, so... Because there's this thing is thick. Look at that right there. This took some time to put together, and I'm proud of it. Okay, so let me take out the level K math. This is her morning starter, one of her morning starters. This is the pre-K, which I felt like she was a little bit more further than the pre-K one. Um, so I did pick her up the kindergarten one. This I got at Dollar Tree. They still have them. Um, but these have been really fun in the morning, so they'll do their morning starter I, while I do Bible study, uh, which basically consists of just opening up the Bible, opening up this, um, you guys saw it yesterday, where it was, uh, it talked about like Genesis, for instance, it gives verses that to read. Um, so they'll do this while we are doing the Bible study. I also picked each of the kids up one of these which is for a drawing and my kids just came in so you'll probably hear them this is just a drawing sketchbook thing because they love art and watercolors and all sorts of stuff we have some stickers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree the sticker book cat in the hat she loves 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 these stickers um, she also has this primary composition uh, so that way she can keep practice her writing. I can have her, for instance, we're learning cat. I can have her write cat multiple times. Yes? I don't know why. Oh, my son's here, my older son. So, so the primary composition, um, we haven't really done much, but I've been having her practice even further, her B's and her C's and her A's. <laughs> and really there's only one page here, but she's doing really good. Look at that handwriting. I think that's pretty wonderful, don't you? Yeah. She's doing good. This is the last thing that I have, and I just picked this up from the Target. Or, no, I picked this up from Dollar Tree, I believe. It is. So, this is uh, spell sight words with the first letter of each picture. Whoa. So, for instance, turtle, T, hat, H, apple, A, turtle, T. And it comes with these, which are not really stickers. They're more of the ones that, you know, they're not stickers. They're just, um, what's that material? It's not a sticker. You can take them off and put them back on again. What? I forgot what the material is. But let's, like, for instance, the A. It's hard to do this one-handed. I got it. Okay, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so she would just take this and she would just put it right... Ah, come oh, on. like stick? Right there. Yeah, it sticks. But then you can just... Is it like it's a not magnet? a sticker. I guess kind of like a magnet, but not really. 
I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I just don't know what the material exactly is. It sticks is to this, but it won't stick to your hands. Yeah, oh, and it's not really a sticker. But it yeah, won't it sticks come off. to this. So it's kind of like a magnet Dang. type thing. Um, so can you put that on there, please, for me? Thank That's you. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Doesn't need to be perfect. It does. Um, yeah, he's another perfectionist that I have. And then here is just some more. So this is just to help with her sight words. Um, like A for Apple, I can ask her, okay, which sticker here? Um, what does Apple start with? A, ah, ah, and she knows which is A. And so she'll put the A there. It doesn't need to be perfect, this child. Okay, so getting into all, after all of that, now we're going to go into the level K. Let me put all of this stuff right back in here because I need things to be organized. That's how my mind works. It has to be. Everything gets confusing. Now, I really love the good and the beautiful math K. Not a lot of people do for some reason. This is not the same math that they've had throughout the years. This is a new math. I think they spent, they spent well over, I think a couple million dollars to perfect their math. Um, I didn't, this is the first year using the good and the beautiful for us. We've never used a curriculum before. Last year, I just basically did everything myself, um, but we wanted something more structured. And so I was looking into the good and the beautiful and I thought it was just like perfect. You know, I like what they stand for. Um, they have the math will be coming out for free pretty soon. They have free language arts that we've been working with. So I really like the good and the beautiful. They spent a lot of money perfecting this, putting it together. It comes with two things when you purchase the math. It comes with this little kit right here that, for instance, the K comes with some little uh, wooden cars that my daughter loves. It comes with some of these, so we'll, you know, just put it there and say, okay, well, what's 12? And then, no, we'll do like 12, come on, plus 12 plus 3 later on when she gets into this, and then she'll answer it, you know? And then there's like these little stick things and these little puzzle pieces right here so this is um i like this i'm waiting on and this is why i'm not doing my first my second graders yet because with him i'm still waiting on his math because it just came out the other day um so for right now i only have the kindergarten math so and the things in here will be used with the math book every so often so there's some fun little games in here um, I really like how they put it together. My daughter, she's having a, a fantastic time with this. So there is 119 to 120 course assessments. There's a hundreds chart right here. So about the course, it's just like the uh, primer. It tells you what supplies you'll need. This is meant to be like a open and go, okay? So you don't have to set things up. You don't have to, it's not required to like set things up ahead of time. It's just you open up the lesson. It tells you what you need. You grab what you need and then you just go. And for the most part, this right here is the majority of what you need among some other things. So there is course organization, supplies needed, daily lessons. They have some things up here that give you suggestions of things to do. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then frequently asked questions. How do I get started? How long are the lessons? Uh, it tells you is math case a spiral or mastery program? Do you include any specific doctrine? And like I said, no. Uh, this is what they said. They say, the goal of our curriculum is not to teach doctrines specific to any particular Christian denomination, but to teach general principles, such as honesty, hard work, and kindness. All Bible references in our curriculum use the King James Version, which I love. Is there an answer key? Of course, you don't need an answer key for kindergarten. Um, how do I use the hundreds chart on the first page? How can I provide extra addition and subtraction practice? And then unit one overview. So it tells us new concepts taught. So in unit one, which is lessons one through 40, you'll, she'll learn identify, identifying numbers zero to 20, writing numbers zero to 20, counting to 100, count up starting at number zero to 80, 10 frames, color recognition, order of events, ordinal numbers, position words, shape recognition, matching, um, Spatual reasoning, 10 sticks, memorize a phone number, addition up to four, addition plus one, two, tally marks, days of the week, one more, one less, number bonds, and longer and shorter. 
Also it says uh, parent teacher tips. So it gives you some tips here when going through the, the unit with your children or the lessons. Extra supplies needed. You'll need a fruit snack or a small food item and three small objects in nature which I love how they do that. I love that they tell you. It's it's just so here for you. You don't have to prepare. It's not that hard. It's very easy. I really like it. So for instance, lesson one up here gives numbers one to three. Practice items the child has not mastered. So identify the colors below and count to 15. Um, and I like that they do that because it's just to see where your child is and how much, you know, they're growing and how much they, they're growing growing in their knowledge. Read to the child. Um, for instance, did you know that you need math to design a fork or a pillow? Math is needed to design almost everything you use every day. Um, and then here are numbers one, two, and three. And then I'll tell her, say a number and have, or say a number and, and uh, point it out and then repeat um, until you know. So like, for instance, I'll point to one. And she says one, and I'll point to three. She says three, I point to two, she says two. And we'll just go back and forth. Um, and then the next lesson in each pot, have the child draw the number of flowers shown. So of course, one flower, three flowers, two flowers. She loved this one. Over here is where you will check off once you've done it. Um, and then I'll tell her, okay, trace these numbers. And then I want you to write the numbers by starting on each dot. Um, and then say the name of each item or each number aloud. And she does that. She did, she's did. she been doing so great. I am so, so proud of her. And then here was a fun little game where she just took her car, started at three. I would give her some directions. Um, you know, I'd tell her, okay, pick up two cars, pick up one car, pick up three cars. She really loved this. And she just put her little sticker right there. And then over here, 10 frames, count to 15. I'll say, okay, Haley, count to 15. She'll count, identify the colors below. What color is this? Blue, what color is this? Red, what color is this? Brown. And yeah, she loved it. And then there's color matching. And yeah, I think it's pretty great. We've been doing this so far. I think it's really, really great. And I love the dedication they put into this, the time that they put into this. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. I, I'm glad that we chose the good and the beautiful um, so far. Uh, of course, I'll, at the end of the year, I'll give a review on if I really, really liked it because we just started. But so far, I am very impressed with this. Um, so that's pretty much all that my daughter has for her homeschool for kindergarten. Um, aside from the unit study, which will be separate in itself. Uh, we do Bible that I didn't really show here, but I briefly went over and yes, this right here. I'm excited to get into the new year and hopefully you like this video. Hopefully if you are a new homeschooling mama, even a homeschool dad, hopefully you'll get some, you know, ideas from this, um, from, from, you know, my video and let me know if you want to see any other kinds of videos. I will have next week the first or the second grade curriculum for 2021 to 2022. This was just the curriculum from 2021 to 2022 for kindergarten. So, and let me know down below if, if you like the good and the beautiful or if you chose to go with a different company. Um, yeah, just feel free to leave some comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.